place for us, and the Lord. So we are so excited and so happy. I pray, Lord, that as we wait for you, help us to continue, Lord, to go on, to trust in you, Lord, to depend upon you, and to believe in you, and to search more your promises in our lives. I pray, Lord, even for those who are uh, physically ill, maybe, Lord, emotionally down, or discouraged, Lord, or whatever the dilemma this time, come upon the Lord and minister to each one of us, Heavenly Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your presence here with us. We give you all the glory and honor, Lord. Bless us as we continue in our worship service. We always welcome your presence in our midst this very hour. In Jesus' name. Amen. Short. Death is your sin is the cause, but Christ is the cure. Yeah, that is good. So we are here for our announcements. Happy. And lately, okay, uh, we can cook some patuti. But yet I believe that God is pleased when we unite our hearts together in worshiping Him, yeah. especially. We are on the Thanksgiving season. Okay, so before Eric will pray, I'll give you some. Okay. Uh, I, will, I will give you uh, something for us to ponder, and it's all about Thanksgiving. Okay. So Thanksgiving or th Thanksgiving, what's the difference? There's something. But one of the best known Thanksgiving costumes is that moment of Thanksgiving Day, when everyone, when everyone goes around the table to share what they're thankful for. But every Thanksgiving Day, we prepare food, we gather our family, and before we eat, what do we do? We it's not praying yet, but the question is that before we eat, we will share what we thank for. Or thank you. So there's a little sharing. So uh, it's the spirit that you see in them, as well as bless them. And express your gratitude for the way they share your gift in your life. It could be calling them for the first time in the month, in, in months. Who are those people that you can express gratitude? Maybe your loved ones, maybe some families or siblings are not getting along for months and they don't have any communication. So maybe it's time to call them. Uh, or maybe sending text, taking them out, taking them out to lunch or some other things. Uh, after, thank you, thank you. It's a word or two during Thanksgiving dinner. But sometimes when we say intentional, it's from our wife. We do like it or not. Or it seems hard for us, we'll do it. We certainly got a word. Something to reflect on about our attitude. <laughs> So many things in life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for gathering here, being able to gather here today. Those of us who are able to make it, and we're strong and well, and we're still alive, and able to do things, and we still have hope, even in these trying times. And we thank you for the provision that you have provided. This I have long prayed for, and here it is. And I'm so thankful for that. That's number one. That you are always there. No matter what I do or the circumstances surrounding and what I think, it doesn't matter. We know that you are able. And we must refl reflect upon that and remember this. It's not just, it's not so much about giving, but giving. Number one, you are the one who is worthy. We think we give thanks to you. We should always give praise to you. And no matter what, it doesn't matter the situation and how quickly we forget to do so. So we just 
ask you for forgiveness of the times when we are lacked mm -hmm. and praising you, and remembering the good things, and our attitudes, and this message that we just been given here. It's a reminder of that, reflect upon our attitude mm -hmm. in life. And remember this thing called gratitude. It motivates us, help us to do what we ought. Even as Paul said, not be 